Hey friend, this is Carrie's Culinary Crafts, uh, where we talk all things food. And today I am going to show you my no fail pie crust. Super, super easy. Um, this is the pie crust that I use all the time. I will make several batches at one time, wrap them up and stick them in the freezer. That way I have them whenever I need them. Um, this recipe will make one pie crust at a time. So if you need a two crust pie, you're going to need uh, to double the recipe. Um, now what you're gonna need for this super simple recipe, you will need a food processor. Um, it only takes a minute to put together. That's why it's so super quick and easy. Um, so you will need a food processor for this. You will need two and a half cups of flour, two sticks of cold butter. I usually, I keep mine in the freezer so I can pull it out and then I just cut it up and stick it in there. So you definitely want cold butter, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and you will need some ice water. Now, usually the recipe calls anywhere from a quarter of a cup to a half a cup. I always start with a quarter of a cup, and if you need more, then you can add more if it's a little bit too dry, but it's all about a consistency basis for um, this, for this uh, pie crust. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this, and basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna put all the ingredients into your food processor and then you're going to add your quarter just that quarter cup of water and you're going to turn on your food processor until the butter gets really chunked up and all the uh the dough in there are like pea sizes and when you pinch them together they stick together so i will um, show you that consistency when we get to it but for now i'm just going to go ahead and stick this stuff in the food processor and get started. But first, hair up, aprons on, let's go. Okay, I have food processor ready. First thing I'm gonna do is measure out two and a half cups of flour. Here's one. two and I need a half a cup and a half a cup all right then I'm gonna need one teaspoon of baking salt. One teaspoon. And then I need two teaspoons of a sugar or whatever sweetener of choice you would like. teaspoons now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick little pulse just to get all of that the dry ingredients mixed up okay now I am going to be adding my butter. Now I went ahead and chopped it up into little cubes like this. It just makes it a little bit easier for the um, for the food processor to work that butter in because it's frozen. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just turn this on and I'm just going to keep adding the butter until I get both sticks of butter in there. So all of my butter is in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one quarter cup of water. Now I have a full cup in here because I'm going to be making several, um, several batches, but I'm only going to put in one quarter of a cup to start. Okay, there. Now we're down to three quarters of a cup. So I put in one quarter of a cup. Now I'm just going to pulse it until it comes together. Okay, here we go. All right. Now let's take a look at that. You see how the majority of it are like these pea sizes? That is exactly what you're looking for. And when you pick it up and you squeeze it all together, it stays together. So this is what you want, this little pea size here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, dump it off onto some plastic wrap, squeeze it all together into like a, a four inch round patty that's about a half an inch thick. And um, then we will be putting it in the refrigerator for at least an hour to cool off before we go ahead and stick it in the freezer, if that's your intention. If you're planning on using it, you can use it after the hour. Or you can just leave it in the refrigerator if you're going to use it within the next few days. But if you are making a bunch to freeze after it is completely chilled for an hour, then you will put it into your freezer. So here's my food processor with all those nice pieces in there. You see how they're like pea-sized pieces? Now I'm going to dump this onto... my plastic wrap here and then I'm just going to squeeze it all together now if you want to do this onto a, you know a, your cutting board or on another surface prior to doing putting it on this um, plastic wrap you certainly can I'm just you know trying to save myself from having to clean my uh, cutting board. Okay. So that's about, I don't know, that's maybe about a five inch disc. It's almost as big as my hand here, but that's about what you want. Now I'm just going to cover it with saran wrap. And there's one piece, and then I'm gonna take a second piece just to make sure that it is covered really good. Now, two of these crusts I'm, I will be keeping in the refrigerator because I'm going to be making a, a chicken pot pie for my son to take back to school, college with him when he goes back. So I will be keeping two of them in the fridge, but the rest of the ones that I make, I'm going to put in the freezer. So there you have it. There is one 
um, one pie crust. Super simple. No time at all in your food processor. You just put the ingredients in till you get it to the right consistency. Put it together in a patty, wrap it in plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator for a, at least an hour. If you're using it within you know, the next two or three days, you can leave it in the fridge. If not, go ahead and stick it in the freezer. Does not take long at all uh, to thaw from the freezer when you pull it out. Okay, now I am gonna I am gonna show you one more time without talking. I'm just going to speed it up just one more time real quick how to how fast this comes together uh, for you guys. stop this food processor you're gonna see how wet the dough is see how it's all like clumped together in one piece it's not pea size okay I'm gonna need a little bit more flour Much better consistency you can see how there's pea sized pieces like this but when you squeeze it together it stays together so that's what you want and that's it that's how easy it is guys I made two doughs in less than 10 minutes So thanks guys for stopping by and learning how to make this super quick, no fail pie crust. You will love this pie crust. You'll never go to anything else. Uh, ever since I tried it, that's all I've ever done. And the way that I do it is I'll usually make about, you know, eight or 10 and stick them in the freezer. That way I have them. Uh, for anything that you need pie crust for, whether it's for actual pies or whether it's for quiche, um, whether it you want to use it for um, like chicken pot pie, which is my plan to do this weekend. 
uh, anything that you'd need a pie crust for or want a pie crust for, and you will have it in the freezer and it takes no time at all to thaw out. Um, I'd say like maybe an hour if you leave it sit out, if you pull it out of the freezer for about an hour, you're gonna be able to start rolling it. Okay, um, this is Carrie's Culinary Crafts and I hope you enjoyed this episode on how to make some quick pie crust. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.